right, so I'm recording this video all in one day, but in two parts. Probably going to catch this video maybe on Thanksgiving and then maybe the week after. So what's up, everybody? Thank you. As always, comment, subscribe, and like to our channel. Um, channels that we support, Three Men in a Basement. We love Barry Gary's Comics, Lords of the Longbox, of course, The Pressable Defects, Spine Ticks, Thorough, uh, all the NY Warriors, Erod 212. Check out our sponsor, Rocket Comics. Oh, yeah. And at the end of this video, check out all the information about Rocket Comics. So, what's up, guys? You know, I haven't done a solo video in a while. We've done a couple of great videos, so check out some of our older ones. Nerdy Girl Comics came on. She absolutely dropped the hammer and crushed it. Uh, we have a Cranky Canadian video. I did a Chris Claremont video, and I guess you guys don't like interviews. But, I mean... It is Chris Claremont. It was fun. He really wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise, but that's okay. So I have put together, so you are watching 20 to 11 top 10 variants in Otto's comic book collection, all 9.8s, okay? I'll tell you a little bit story behind it, and I won't bore you, but stay tuned because this is a two-part video, and this is part two? Yeah, or the first part. Who knows? So first book, fun book. Paid less than $100 for this. This is the Immortal Hulk number five. This is the variant cover, okay? And this is the um, Ghost Rider versus um, Hulk. This is Incredible Hulk 272. It's a Raza story, but it's the Silver Surfer versus the Thor, uh, Thor 4 variant. Love it. Bought the figure to match it. And I uh, got a nice slab stand. So this is a cool display. Under 100 bucks. Can't beat it. Guys, I'm really trying to work on the uh, the glare, so I'll work on that. All right, next book. Book I bought from a collection. It's a J. Scott Campbell variant. It's a 9.8. It's really cool, and I'll tell you why I like it. So this is Venom number one. This is the Campbell variant. This is the uh, this is a variant for 166. Donny Cates, Stegman, Myers, J. Scott Campbell did the cover. And um, why I'm keeping this in my PC, I love Venom. I love the way Campbell did... Uh, MJ and Peter Parker. To me, it's very 80s-ish and uh, just really cool. And I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Let's see if I turn that down. Anyway, so I'm sorry for the glare, guys. I'll try it this way. So, yeah, so uh, really cool cover. J. Scott Campbell. I just, I don't know. It's just, it reeks 80s and 90s to me with the, be the beanies on, walking through the hall, you know, and Venom lurking on top. Just a really cool book. So this book is coming in at number 19. And number 18, another one, probably of all the modern artists, my favorite artist, Alex Ross. This is the Virgin variant to Amazing Spider-Man 798. This is the first Norman Osborn as Red Goblin. Uh, Dan Slott story right here. Absolutely love it. Virgin variant. Don't know why Alex Ross's stuff doesn't go for more, but just an absolutely cool book. And happy to have it coming in at 20, 19, 18. Okay, 9.8 Alex Ross. Okay, coming in at 17. Book that I bought raw, submitted at Terrificon, had it signed by Clayton Crane. It's an homage to a book that is very, very undervalued in my opinion, uh, Brave and the Bull 28, because it is the first, first appearance of the Justice League, and for a kid of the 80s, that only tells that the Justice League to me is a really just the Super Friends, and the Super Friends really is the Justice League. Okay, anyway, that being said, this is the Clayton Crane, um, Brave and a Bold 28 Virgin variant. And I had Clayton sign it at Terrificon. And I absolutely love it. Absolutely, absolutely love it. This, of course, I don't have a Brave and a Bolt 28 9.8. I have a 4.0 next to each other, displayed in Otto's Grotto. Really cool. All right. As always, guys, comment, subscribe, and like our videos. Hit those reminders, and, you know, and get ready. 2020 is almost done, guys. This is going to get better, right? We've got to get better. And as we get, as the world gets better, three men in the basement is getting better, okay? Just want you to know we got a lot of things planned. Stay tuned for our Christmas party. All right, another book. A Matina cover. I had all three of them, but the one of them didn't come back in 9.8, so that wasn't linear, so I sold it. And I'm going to show you this right here. This is uh, Dark Knight's Metals number three. This is just the Matina sketch cover. Just, I say that, but really cool. Okay, cool book to have. Okay. Coming in at 15, I think, I hope. Oh my God, I always screw up the numbers. Okay, this is Venomized number one. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm a, the biggest book in my collection is a Hulk 181. It's a 
Uh, it is the big, biggest book in my collection along with my X-Men 1. I'm a huge Wolverine fan. I grew up to Batman and the Super Friends, but as I became a teenager and had more angst, I absolutely gravitated to Wolverine. So this is the so any Hulk 181 variant I pick up. So this is the uh, scan variant cover A. It's a it's an homage. Instead of um, Hulk, Wendigo, and Wolverine, we have Spider-Man, Venom, and Weapon H, and it's Venomized. So here we go. 9.8. I keep this in my Hulk 181 display. Really cool book. All right. All right. Now. Coming in at 14, a virgin. I'm a Tina virgin. This is my death, my Dark Knights Metal number three. This book I won't sell. This book is so creepy and so bugged out. Um, and I think it goes for a good money on eBay. And I, I paid cover price for it other than CGC fees. Look at that. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Could be a cool Halloween cover, but really cool. All right, next book. Next book, I submitted it myself. I had Neil Adams sign it, and he didn't kill it. He didn't put his paws all over it, and it still came back in 9-8. I was so happy about this because I bought it raw for my LCS, kept it, saved it, don't think I pressed it, brought it to Terrificon, had Neil uh, Adams sign it. It's the homage to uh, Batman 251, but instead of Joker and Batman being the ace, it is Black Manta and Aquaman being the king. And I think this is cool. As a Justice League fan, as a Super Friends fan, Black Manta was great with the Legion of Doom and Aquaman. It's cool. And I really like it because they made Aquaman the uh, king. Uh, Neil Adams and Brian Boland cover. It was signed in 2016. I've had this book for four years, man. Four or five years is since I've been back into the um, comic game significantly. So absolutely love this book. And I'll be honest with you, this was one of the first books I ever had signed and submitted and came back in 9-8. So book means a lot to me. I'll always keep it. Love to pair it up with my 251, which I did have signed by Neil, uh, but that's a solid 5 -0. Of course, I can't afford a 9-8 in that book, nor do I want a 9-8 in that book. I mean, I would it if you gave it to me, but I don't. So, all right. Coming in at 11. Eight, no, coming in at 12. All right, a hard 12. We have another 9.8, another Hulk 181 uh, homage. And this is the, uh, more of like the, it's not really a zombie, but it is a, uh, Sue I am, I don't say his name right, Convention Edition. And uh, this is the Marco, Marco Sue I am cover. All right. Right here. I'm not going to say too much more about this book, other than it's a 9 8. It is in my collection and it's a Hulk 181. Now, number 11. You don't have this book. You wouldn't have this book because you're not a. I don't know if you're a fan of the movie or not, but it's not a. It's, it's a book that I had to buy. Because it's one of my favorite movies of all time. So I had to buy it when I saw IDW came out. And if you do have it, kudos to you. Because there can only be only there can only be only one. And that is Highlander, the American Dream number one. This is a 9.8. It's a hologram cover. It's got the sword. Connor McCloud on it. Just absolutely sick. IDW, the American Dream. To tell you a little bit about it. It's uh, Andrea Mutai Arts. Uh, it's a retailer incentive edition. It's a hollow foil. It came out in 2017. There can be only one Highlander, one of my favorite movies of all time. Rest in peace, Sean Connery, uh, Juan Sanchez Villalobos Ramirez. This book comes in at number 11 in my collection. I display this book all the time. Highlander was such an iconic movie. Being a D&D &D geek, being a geek of you know uh, sci-fi and fantasy, I absolutely love Highlander. Highlander 2 doesn't exist. The TV show does. But yes, yeah, so this book is coming at number 11. So that concludes my 20 to 11. I hope I've counted it right. But if not, oh well, hope you enjoyed the video. So on behalf of myself, David Cave, Roger Levesque, you are watching Three Men in a Basement. Thank you. Stay tuned for part one. One to ten. Deuces.